question number 22 we are told using a pair of compasses and ruler only construct uh, so that instruction should be followed you only use your compass and a ruler if you use other instrument uh, you be you lose marks because uh, there will be marks that will be checked by the examiner so Roman number one triangle a b c in which a b is equals to five centimeter uh, angle B A C is equals to 30 and angle A B C is equals to 105. So here you are being tested whether you know how to construct angle 30, you know how to construct angle 105. So you start by, you can, you can make a sketch here. You make a line, uh, you measure 5 centimeter, that is 5 centimeter. This is our A B. Uh, then you are told, uh, uh, B A C is that B A C. So here, uh, to get angle that uh, you construct angle sixty and you bisect. So that is angle sixty. Uh, you'll be able to get that. You bisect there. You'll be able to get uh, half of that angle. So this is where your line should pass. This is angle thirty. Uh, then angle A B C is one o five. How do you construct angle one o five? You ma you can construct angle angle you say angle seven angle ninety and you ang you bisect angle thirty you get fifteen so that will add up to one oh five degrees. So you first of all construct angle ninety so that you should give you angle ninety. You construct angle sixty here uh, by extending that that should give you angle sixty. You bisect this angle here. That should give you angle th angle 15, 15. So this means that you are angle. So you extend those two lines until where they meet. That is where you will locate our C. Uh, so from there, you construct. Uh, so let's see how we go about it. Uh, a circle that passes through the vertices A, B, C. So in to get a circle that touches the three vertices of a triangle, we bisect two sides where the line of the two lines of bi of bisection meet. That is the center of the circle. So you extend your compass. You draw a circle. Uh, so from there, the height you measure the height of uh, you measure the radius, the height of the angle ABC, uh, where which AB is. So you drop uh, perpendicular from C. The way we do like that, you drop a perpendicular. Uh, then finally you measure that perpendicular line uh, then you determine the area so that's how you go about this question and if it is possible you get all the marks so let's go uh, let's uh, do it so you start by drawing a line where you measure five centimeter to come up with line a b measure five centimeter and mark your points a and b uh, to get the, that length of AB. So here you construct angle 60. And how do you construct angle 60? You measure a distance from A to a point there. Then you make two arcs here. And that will be uh, angle 60. So this angle is 60 uh, following the, uh, the use of uh, the property of equilateral triangle. So that is how you construct angle 60. Because we are looking for angle 30, that is angle BAC, you bisect the angle 60 by taking two points, that is that point and this, and you make two arcs here, and that should be give you now the line AC. But we don't know how uh, where AC uh, C is, so we are going now to use the info, we construct angle 105 to be able to locate uh, our point C. Like I had explained in, from the beginning, we, we construct angle 90 and we add 15. So here I have used uh, this point B to make two marks and using those two marks, you make, uh, you make uh, uh, two marks there and you should be able to come, uh, there should be other two marks here. You come up with a perpendicular line, so that makes an angle of 90. After constructing an angle of 90, then uh, I have constructed another angle 60, 
so that uh, whatever this angle that will remain here is 30, we bisect that angle. So angle 60, like ju just like we started, I have used part, uh, point B, make a point there, use this point to make that mark, and this other point to make that mark, they have comma. So this angle is 60 degrees. So, and this is 30. So if we bisect this angle 30, we will be able to come up with angle 15, in which when we add to 90, we will be able to get 45, or 105 degrees. Here I have bisected angle 30, as you can see here. So now I will draw a line from B, and where the two lines uh, intersect, that will be the point of C. So this line, where they intersect, that will be the position of C. So let me draw that. Uh, this is now angle 105, uh, and we have located C. So that is how you construct angle 105 degrees uh, by constructing angle 90, constructing 60, and what remains 30, you bisect, you'll be able to. So you have located uh, part C, and we are supposed to measure the radius. When you measure the radius, use, you use a... Uh, uh, measure the law well, yet we are not yet constructed the circle so we are now we have now the triangle <coughs> but B let's say we, we, we let's construct a circle that passes through the vertices of A, B, C so we bisect A, B and B, C where the two uh, by, by, by bisector uh, cross each other that will be the center you extend your compass you draw a circle so in this section, I have bisected the line AB. You take your compass, you make a mark there, and on the other side, then B, uh, you make your mark there, and the other side, you join the two uh, points where the two uh, crosses, where they uh, cross each other, you come up with a perpendicular. So then uh, we now go ahead and uh, bisect BC. So just like we have done with the A, B, here I have bisected uh, B, C using the same procedure. And you can see now this is a bisector of A, B, this is bisector of B, C. They meet at this point. Now, using that point as the center of the circle, ex extend your compass to where we have C, or we have A, or we have B, and make a circle that touches the three vertices of the triangle. This is a triangle. This is a circle that I've constructed using that is a center, and uh, now that you come up with a circle that touches the three vertices of the triangle ABC. So you are required to measure the radius. So from this point, can extend your divider uh, either to A, B, or C, and you measure the radius. So that radius is equals to. 3.5 you can put a uh, error allowance of 0 0.1 so that is the length of the radius then we are told to drop a perpend okay the height of a triangle a b c with a b as a base measure the height so from c you make two marks here and uh, using those two marks you make other two marks using this point and this point and then you join you come up with a perpendicular then you measure that perpendicular. Uh, we now have the radius and we have the height. That is, uh, this is our height. Uh, part B, determine the area of the circle that lies outside the area of the triangle, correct to two decimal places. So the area of the circle that is uh, outside the, uh, the, the triangle, we can say area outside uh, is equals to area of circle minus area of triangle ABC. So the area, since we have the radius of the circle, uh, then we have it is 20. Area is equals to pi r squared, 22 over 7, multiplied by 3.5, that is the radius. Uh, then you minus a half, uh, multiplied by base is 5, and the height is 3.4. So you can work out that, and uh, you'll be able to get the area outside the, the area of the circle outside the triangle is 29.98 approximately 
uh, centimeter squared. So that is how you work out that uh, question. If you are careful, you can get that question, full mark of this question very easily uh, if you follow the instructions as required. So let's go to the next question.